Okay, this is the Ozone inter interviewing Mr. John Harris of Yahoo uh, Radio Sports. Uh, John, my first question to ask you is uh, Johnny Manziel is the Heisman Trophy winner, right. and Ohio State is the only school that has a two-time Heisman Trophy winner. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Braxton Miller who also challenged for the Heisman. Uh, can you comment on whether you think uh, Manziel can either tie or even eclipse uh, Archie Griffin, and what do you think about Braxton Miller? Do you think Braxton Miller can win the Heisman next year and defend the honor of Ohio State. Absolutely. I thought Braxton Miller actually through the first probably seven, eight weeks of the year was my choice to be the Heisman winner. I thought that if he continued on that path the way he was playing, I thought he had a great shot to be the Heisman winner or at least get asked to New York. I think next year being bowl eligible, the opportunity to win the Big Ten Championship, I think that will really uh, sit well with him. And I think just the fact he had such a great year, I think Braxton going back for 2013 Will, will be a, a huge favorite, I think in large part because voters always want to look for another guy. They want to think that, you know, saying Johnny Manziel is the favorite is easy, so they want to look for another guy. Well, I think Braxton Miller is very easily the quote-unquote other guy. I actually would probably make Braxton the favorite because of that. I think Braxton gives Ohio State everything they're looking for. He's so good out of the pocket, but I think his passing game continues to develop. Uh, he would have been my pick for probably the first nine, ten weeks, and then it was hard to turn away from what Johnny was able to do. I think the thing for Johnny, which will be interesting, whether he can win it twice, is how long he stays. I think a lot of people thought originally he would only be there, or he would be there all four years. But now we're starting to see the influence of Zone Reed and the things that Johnny does well at AM in the NFL. So the thought that he could go early, and if he does go early, it's going to be very difficult to get to two. He's got to be so, so very good in 2013 for people to think about giving it to him a second time. His advantage probably over Braxton's is if Johnny does well in the SEC, that's going to give him a little bit of a leg up because of the perceived difference between the SEC and Big Ten. I think Braxton Miller's got a great shot to win it next year, and I know Buckeye fans have to be excited about what he can do and keep Archie Griffin's name as the only two-time Heisman winner alive. Okay, um, John, Yahoo has been associated with great research. Right now, uh, the big story in sports is Manti Teo. Can you comment on what you believe? Do you believe that uh, Teo was part of a hoax, or do you believe that uh, he knew about it? Or what, just give me your, what your opinion is about, on the Manti Teo situation. I'll tell you, I don't want to believe that he was part of it. The sad fact is, in the O.J. Simpson case, we didn't want to believe O.J. was part of it. Ray Carruth, we didn't want to believe Ray was part of it. It's life, and there's a part of me that thinks that he knew of this, maybe embellished it, but maybe he wasn't the sole... Um, he wasn't the one who started this. It was started by somebody, and he kind of glammed onto it, and they went from there. I feel bad for, for Manti from the standpoint of his name being out there for this. The fact is, he continued to play it up when he knew that it was a hoax. He continued to play it up. And that obviously will go back on him and reflect, I think, poorly on him. My interest is, from this point forward, is how does it affect his draft stock? How will teams look at him? Will they look at him uh, as being you know, shady? Will they look at him as being someone they can't trust? And as soon as the team thinks you're someone they can't trust, you start falling down and down and down further in the draft. That's where I think Manti Teo is right now. He is in total spin control mode, and I don't know that they're spinning it properly for Manti right now. Thank you, John.